All right, guys, so a little bit of a different video today. I asked you all on Instagram to roast my car, and you know, a little, I'm, I'm a little bit upset with y'all. You know, I was under the impression that my subscribers were all fucking savages, bro, but you all kind of let me down a little bit, all right? Some of these roasts in here, roasts, some of these roasts in here are a little bit weak, and I mean, we're gonna go through those today. We're gonna read them, see what you guys think about my car. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on Instagram so that next time we do this, if we do do it in the future, you can um, take part in roasting my car. Or maybe we'll do Jake's next. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe we'll do Jake's car next. So let's just load up. We got 223 comments on here. Let's just load up all of these. I'll start from the top. And I'll just pick out a few of my favorites here. Like I said, a lot of them are pretty weak. I'm really disappointed in you guys. All right, first comment. Genesis Coupe for when you can't afford a 370Z. I could see I could see where he's coming from, but really if I wanted to, I could afford a 370Z. And they're really not that much more expensive if you get the same years. If you got an older 370Z, it'd probably be cheaper. Next one is from the Slow 50, and he just said it's a fucking Hyundai. Like, this is what I'm talking about when I say these roasts are weak. Everybody in here just takes the basic bitch route and says Oh, it's a Hyundai or whatever, you know, like that hasn't been said a thousand times before. I was looking for somebody to come up with something really unique and really funny that would really be like, wow, that's funny, but no. Next one is from Jake, and he says, fishbowl ass, no tent, and it sounds like shit, bro. That one, that is the truth. That's true. That's not really a roast. That's just facts, basically. It is a fishbowl. I don't have window tent on it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really plan on getting it anytime soon, so yeah, I mean, I might in the future, but, you know, I'm not really worried about it right now. And sounds like shit, yes, it does. He also has the same car, Turbo 3.8, and they, they're both straight piped, and they both sound like shit, so I mean, really he's talking shit about his own car too. Okay, let's keep scrolling here. Okay, this one. This guy thinks he's slick, okay. This is from Nathan Lake, he says, at our spec Ryan, how many pounds of boost is the four-cylinder Tiburon running? The Tib Tiburon's a, a fine car. If you own a Tiburon, it's fine. But people that own Genesis Coupes hate whenever people call their car a Tiburon. It, it just fucking pisses you off because it... But when your lug nuts have more torque than your engine, this has 18 likes on it. That's a pretty decent one. Maybe if you add up all 20 lug nuts, then yeah, they'd have more torque, but not one lug, not one lug nut by itself, no. This one's actually pretty funny, alright, I'll give you that. If I wanted to hear something that sounds like a lawnmower, I'd just go cut my grass. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, I'll give you that, it's pretty funny. Have a cigar says, spent 30,000, will take 10k or best offer. Resale value on these cars is pretty shit, that's like common knowledge, but it's not that fucking bad, goddamn. I didn't even spend 30,000 on it either, so I don't know where he came up with that number. Car has more ass than your Slim Jim Beanstalk head ass. Okay, motherfucker, this is a, y'all need to get this through your head, all right? I ask you to roast my car, and this dude actually compliments my car, I think. Your car has more ass than your, yeah, I'd say he's kind of complimenting my car, but at the same time, he's like roasting me, which is not what I wanted. That's fine, you know, it's still funny, but really disappointing you guys. This is another one of those comments that I was talking about. You know, this guy just said, at the end of the day, it's still just a piece of shit Hyundai. So like, yeah, that's, is this the part where I'm supposed to laugh and say, ha ha, yeah, it's a Hyundai. Yeah, I know that. I know it's a Hyundai. A Jenny even riding with Dave would be ashamed to be seen in. He's been seen in it before, actually. <laughs> All right, this one, I was confused at this one because he posted the comment twice, but he posted, how do you make a Hyundai go faster downhill? And I was like, okay. What, how, what is that? But then he then he replied to himself and said, turn off the engine. So, I mean, ha, huh, pretty funny. Good joke. Good joke. Another, it's just a Hyundai comment. 15,000 in mods on that car and it will still get beat by an FRS one day. I doubt it. Especially if you're talking about Jake's car, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I just don't see it happening. Oh, here's a fucking hilarious one. My name's Ryan. I suck poopy butthole dick and drive a Korean car with a fat turb ski that is about the blow my stock Sonata internals. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that actually made me laugh. Oh, and then Jake comments on here. Okay, I didn't even see this. I scrolled through them earlier. That's how I came up with the, you know, observation that you guys kind of let me down, but I didn't see Jake's comment on here. And this is what Jake said, okay? 
Imagine, had you put the same amount of money into an FRS, the FRS would be faster than Jenny. Korean crap. I don't think, I really don't think Jake even knows what the fuck he's talking about, so we'll just keep scrolling. Another Hyundai comment, another Tiburon joke, another Tiburon joke. <laughs> Kirk94 said, do they make these cars for men? Sadly, they don't. Your exhaust sounds like gay. I'm not really sure what gay sounds like. This guy says, you want to race? I will bring my push mower that has no wheels. That'd be a good race. Hit me up. DM me, bro. Dang, how many times did you suck your mom's dick to get that? Boy, look at that fart can. You could cook fucking rice on that. How often do you fuck the keyhole of the door? Fucking queer. And then at the end, he says, no hard feelings. I love you, Ryan. No homo, bro. Um, there's just too many fucking questions in that one question of him roasting my car that I'm just going to skip over it. Your car looks like some kid got YouTube money before he learned what real cars are. Oh, wait. <laughs> it actually made me laugh. Like, it's not true, though, but I know what real cars are in their Genesis Coupes, bro. Your straight pipes sound like a lawnmower with a fucking turbo attached to it. And then he comments again and says, no offense. The point of this post was to roast my car. You don't have to say no offense. Like, I'm literally taking, I don't take offense to anything anyways, but like, if anything, me asking you to roast my car, you don't have to put no offense, all right? But uh, fuck you for that comment anyways. Having coilovers on a Genesis Coupe is like having a choker because you're a black belt at sucking dick, fucking faggot, kill yourself. That's pretty decent. I say we're getting somewhere. We're getting a little bit better, but you know, still not to my standards. I thought my fans were fucking savages, bro, but he's almost there. He was like right there, but not there yet. The Genesis kind of reminds me of the Batmobile. Only that the Batmobile is fast and sounds good. <laughs> Looks like something a scrawny vaping faggot would drive. Also a true statement. I can't hate on this car, it's dope as fuck, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the people that, you know, I asked to roast my car and they ended up just saying nice stuff about it. Like, you guys are the real MVPs. What's the difference between the Genesis and Ryan? Nothing. Both are gay. Alright, this one really just set me off right here. Yo car has so much wheel gap, you can get over any speed bump. You know I'm about that low life, bro. Don't do me like that. Jenny Coop, the car for dudes that eat corn the long way. You know he's saying, I, I eat corn the long way, like a... Your car looks like a Prius with a cardboard body kit. Like, this, this shit's so weak, dude. Come up with something a little bit, like, better. You can do better than that. I believe in you guys. I believe in you guys. I, I know you guys can do better than that. And uh, if you want to prove it to me, you can follow me on Instagram and go straight back to this post. And uh, I'm, I'm still open, you know? You can hit it up with a comment. Um, prove me wrong, but right now I'm, I'm saying you guys, you're soft. It's really what it comes down to, you're soft. You ain't hard. I thought you guys were savages, you know, I thought, I thought my boys were savages, but you guys are really letting me down. So go hit me up on Instagram and keep commenting on that post because I really think you guys are soft. Speaking of being soft, Muscle vs. Tuner, you know, Bobby, commented on here too, and he said, my roast will be in tomorrow's video. So, that video came out today, so let's go check it out. You may have seen a car similar to his. Um, I actually know a guy who has one. He's kind of a fuck boy, but nonetheless he has one. Oh, so my problem with Genesis Coops is they made the 3.7 Tiburon, they made the BK It's actually a 2.7. All right, all right, motherfucker. All right, listen. He wants to talk about, you know, you know, they made the Tiburon and then two different generations of Genesis Coupes before they realized that they were a bad car. Hold the fuck up, hold the fuck up, all right? The only reason people didn't buy Genesis Coupes is because the badge on the front of it that says Hyundai. Most people, you know, you can't, I'm not gonna be seen driving a Hyundai. That's, that's how most people are, but you know, you know, you got plenty of people out there that are willing to buy a Dodge Challenger that's way overweight, way underpowered, and then they go out and put Hellcat wheels and Hellcat hoods on them. That Ryan basically has a upgraded Hyundai Tiburon. Are we fucking doing this right now? Huh? Are we fucking doing this right now? Come on, square up, Bobby. Bobby knows that calling my car a Tiburon pissed me off. 
You know, Bobby thinks he's cool because he's got a Challenger. He's a big muscle car guy, but if Bobby would spend less money on disco lights and Hellcat accessories for his car, maybe his car would be fast. On on top of that, he loses all. He just take his man card away, completely remove it because he drives an automatic too. What a shame. And I think it's funny that every automatic owner out there always tries to justify buying an automatic because it's faster than the manuals now, but the same people never go to the track and race. So, who are you trying to fool, bruh? Who are you trying to fool? So Bobby, if you're trying to race, hit me up, bro. I'll race you again. You know, get, get you a Pro Charger first because you ain't got a fucking chance in hell. On a real note though, I don't hate Bobby or anything, you know, I'm just talking shit to him because he's my friend. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with a Challenger either, you know, I just, I gotta roast his car because he roasted mine, so. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like on it. Subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you guys later. Peace.